taking my hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. Jennifer Lopez has always been the one to watch for her fans for decades now, but that hasn't really been the case recently. She managed to land herself in serious trouble in online circles, following the release of her documentary, This Is Me Now, A Love Story. The documentary is based on Jennifer and her husband Ben Affleck's love life. However, instead of being praised for it like she thought, things took a huge turn. Apparently, fans discovered that J Lo was lying and they weren't exactly going to shower her with love for that. Just what happened? What did fans say? What was her documentary about? Welcome back to Celebrity Circle, where we will talk about the real reason behind Jennifer Lopez facing hate online after This Is Me. But before we give you guys the tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Now Jennifer has carved out her place in the industry with banger songs, films, and documentaries. She has done it all, and so keeping up the trend, Jennifer dropped a bomb on her fans with the release of her album, This Is Me Now, and the complimentary musical film, This Is Me Now, A Love Story. There's also the Amazon Prime documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told. The entire album revolves around her and Ben Affleck and how the two were reunited after being apart for decades. Now, Jennifer had some pretty high hopes for this album. She wanted everyone to gush over the documentary and perhaps even her epic love story. It really is the story kind of a, of a hopeless romantic, you yeah. know, and their journey and the, the things that happen to you, the things that, um, that, that you can go through. Earlier this year, during an interview with USA Today, the On The Floor singer said, This was going to be the quintessential thing I have been searching for and wanted to say about love. She further added, I've been on this search for so long, since people first met me in my first record, came out and even before that in my first movie role, where I've been on this journey trying to figure this thing out for myself. This album kind of closed the loop in a way. It captures this moment to really say the things I want to say about love, and that is that true love does exist and some things are forever. Please don't give up on that because that's all that matters in life. Love. A lot of the things that are in, in it are inspired by things that I went through. Obviously, everything's, it's not an autobiographical thing at all. It's more kind of meta. Unfortunately, that's not what happened, and Lopez is now facing some major hate on social media because of her documentary. What Jennifer thought would be a great career opportunity for her has actually turned into a living nightmare for the singer. And, if you're wondering why, well, a few clips of Jennifer from her documentary have been making some major rounds on the internet. Especially this one clip where the singer is seen fixing her hair and talking about how it takes her back to the times when she was in the Bronx. I like taking my hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. Unfortunately for J Lo, fans didn't have the reaction she wanted to that scene. Most folks thought that she was acting pretentious with several TikTokers even poking fun at her by recreating the scene. I like taking my hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. The singer was also exposed for trying to act all natural in the clip. Because in reality, it was all a setup. Little fun fact, I was on the set of that shoot. It took her 12 times. We did 12 takes for that. Fans mocked her for trying too hard when someone who was present at the scene of the shooting revealed a few details about the backstory of the clip. According to them, they had to do around 12 takes to get that perfect shot. And that was the one that they went with. That was the best shot we got. After 12 takes. Guess what the one that was? Yeah, you're right, it was the 12, big brain. And so the singer's documentary is trending, just not in the way she had envisioned. No hate to J-Lo at all. I know she just went to school here, but it's really funny seeing her rep the block and knowing that she went to high school in Throg's Neck. I think it's hilarious. No one wanted to hold back. A TikToker who had gone to the same high school as the artist stepped forward to spill some piping hot tea. The scream I just fucking scrumped. Me and Jayla went to the same all-girls private Catholic high school in my neighborhood that I grew up in, so let me show you guys the block. She went as far as calling Jennifer a liar. She said, we both attended an all-girls high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood, so you weren't running up and down the block. Safe to say, J-Lo wasn't so happy about the endless negative comments, and so she responded by having her tech team take down all the TikToks and posts targeting her documentary, and even banned some creators' accounts, making her public enemy number one for a lot of folks. 
TikTok creator Kylie Marisa was one of the unlucky few who had her accounts taken down and she wasn't too happy about it. She wrote, J Lo's narcissism single-handedly crushed the main portion of my small business. She also said, I didn't even have the opportunity to download or save four years worth of my content that had been viewed over a billion times and accumulated over 50 million likes. To add to the drama, Kylie made her living from TikTok and J Lo's ban kinda left her in a tough financial situation. She wrote, J Lo has cost me more than four figures of income just for March 2024, making it harder for her to afford her essential medical care. But J Lo can't brush it all under the rug. Fans also had a lot of questions when the artist talked about her go-to bodega order during an interview with Vogue. My go-to order at the bodega was ham and cheese on a roll with an orange drink, if you know, you know, and a small bag of chips. They raised a lot of question marks when J Lo said, if you know, you know, because they simply didn't know what she meant by that. Even Bronx residents were mocking J Lo. Everyone could see through the facade that Jennifer was so desperately trying to sell. Interestingly, this ain't J-Lo's first rodeo, which might be why she isn't rolling on the floor right now. Back in 2021, J-Lo made a lot of people upset when the 20th anniversary of her song, Love Don't Cost a Thing, came up. The singer decided to recreate a memorable moment from the track's video on Twitter, and she did so by throwing some of her expensive jewelry, sunglasses, and clothes into a beach. She captioned the video. The Love Don't Cost a Thing challenge starts now. Can't wait to see your renditions. Now, fans weren't on board with that idea and naturally, they bashed Lopez for encouraging all that while everyone was dealing with the pandemic. Mind you, folks were having a hard time making ends meet and throwing their things on the beach is the last thing someone would have wanted to do. A fan wrote, can't nobody afford to be throwing their stuff on the beach. It's not quite clear how Jennifer is going to respond to the situation, but one thing is for sure. The skies are going to clear up for her anytime soon. And that's it for today. What do you think of the entire situation? Will Jennifer be making a statement? Is there more to the drama? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.